kind of hogwash are people online even coming up with? They say teething releases histamines, which opens the blood brain barrier. And if you vaccinate while teething, supposedly neurotoxins have direct access to your baby's brain. I mean, there's so many things to unpack here. Every time I see these posts, I'm floored by how confidently people throw out sciency words like histamine and toss in a couple of links to make it sound legit. No discussion of the actual study, no context, just vibes and fear. So I did what they didn't. I read the study that they're using. And surprise, surprise, they have nothing to do with teething or vaccines. But before we get into that, let's break down the actual claim. Does teething release histamines? Yes, a little. When a baby's gums are irritated during teething, the body releases some histamines as part of a normal immune response. It's local, it's mild, think of it like a bug bite, some swelling, maybe extra drool and fussiness. It's not some full body histamine storm, like an allergic reaction. Does histamine open the blood brain barrier? Not in the way they're claiming. In a few very specific lab studies, scientists used huge amounts of histamine or literally injected it into rat brains to study effects on the blood brain barrier. That's not what's happening when your baby's working on their tooth. And it definitely doesn't mean that the brain is suddenly wide open. Now let's talk about the actual studies being thrown around to scare parents in this post. Study number one, which was here, this study looked at what happens when histamine is injected directly into the brains of cats. Controlled lab setting, not a teething baby, not a real world situation. Study two, this was a in vitro lab study, not on any animal or human. This one tested high doses of histamine and serotonin to see their effects on the blood brain barrier. Again, this was a lab experiment, not what happens when your baby is cutting a tooth or getting a routine vaccine. Study number three, this one explored how the blood brain barrier responds to serious illnesses like bacterial meningitis, Alzheimer's, epilepsy, or widespread inflammation. And if you were an actual clinician, you'd know bacterial meningitis and teething are not exactly the same thing, not even close. One puts babies in the ICU, the other makes them drool and bite everything in sight, very different. The truth, the blood brain barrier isn't some fragile gate that swings wide open because your baby is teething. It's a strong, tightly regulated system. And vaccines, they do not contain neurotoxins. They contain safe, well-studied ingredients in tiny amounts that help protect your baby from real dangerous diseases. Now, to be clear, there are some valid reasons to delay or avoid a vaccine. If your child has had a serious allergic reaction to the same vaccine in the past, or if they have a fever or have taken fever reducing medication like acetaminophen or ibuprofen in the last 24 hours. Why that last one? Because it can make it harder to tell if a reaction like a fever was from the vaccine or something else going on. We want a clear picture of how your child responds. But teething? Teething is not a reason you have to skip a vaccine. If histamine from teething opened the blood brain barrier, we'd all be in big trouble. Luckily, that's not how science or babies work. Share this so we can actually spread factual information on the internet.